Aging Board and Senior Services is in session. Public session, there doesn't appear to be any members of the public, of course. Marshal Lego. Approval of minutes, you can get a motion on that. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay, and uh, Teresa? Yeah, it's all right, there's too many names in my head. I don't know where you're going in. Okay, uh, any changes or problems with the minutes? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? None are opposed. Motion's been passed. Okay, now we need a report from the nominating committee of one. Oh, that's you. <laughs> well, I thought I was disqualified because of. Your nominating committee, you're not actually doing it, you're just collecting nominations. Oh, well, we submitted it. Yeah. Well, uh. But we do have, you know, I mean, people are trying to get a chance to ask other people who are still willing to stay on as the, uh, the people they have, correct? And I think people are. Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, um, uh, do we have a treasurer now? I don't think we have a treasurer. There, there is a no. treasurer slash secretary okay. from what well, it says on the. Yeah. Yeah, that is what you say. Yeah. And neither one does it. It's super nice. Wow, what do you mean? <laughs> Every now and then you have to step up to the plate here. And is there yes. anybody running for the uh, vice chair? No, nope, I haven't heard anything. I am. Okay, we have one. Oh, okay. Jerry I thought somebody was supposed to nominate me. I can't, I can't just say nominate? You can nominate yourself. You can request. Me? Um, yes. At least okay. that's where we've always done it. We're probably informed, to say the least. Okay, uh, would everyone prefer a voice vote or would you like written? Voice is fine. It's only fine. one. Voice. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Now we have we have a slate. Uh, Robert Montague for chairman. <coughs> Joanne Butler for vice chairman. Uh, Kathy Service for treasurer slash secretary. Oh no. All those in favor of this uh, slide this slate, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I think we've made our elections. Congratulations, Jerry Ann. You've joined no. the office. Thank you. Yes. Thank you too. You'll be in, in, we'll see that you're in the next uh, edition of <laughs> the Chronicle. Yeah. The Chronicle, yeah. You'll be right in there. Okay, uh, we got that taken care of. Finances, budget review. Um, well, Linda and I met with um, Susan Wright um, from the, the finance, um, our finance director of the city and uh, we're, we're in good shape and we're, we're actually taking very, very little out of all our fundraise money. Um, part of it was because there was so many um, staff vacancies for a while, so, um, and what I'll do is when we actually have, the end of our budget will be the end of June and I'll bring, um, in our July meeting, um, you can, you'll actually have a hard copy in front of you, but um, we're, we're actually in very, very good shape. From mostly because of a lot of hard work and a lot of fundraising efforts and um, and this kind of intermittent year. So. Okay. Some advantage to being on the staff. Yeah, that's I'm the sure only advantage. The only advantage. It feels so, yes. We appreciate your efforts in the state. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> That'll pay for, for therapy now. <laughs> yeah, right. For treatment. Yeah. Okay, going on to old business staff vacancies. Okay, we are we are at almost at capacity. We have one more position um, for a, a van driver. We have the the four van drivers that can be hired, um, but we're waiting until we actually are at you know full pretty close to capacity for our first van, and we're beginning to start and reawaken what um, all the. The things that we thought about um, the, the new special new directions for the second van. So I w we're thinking maybe um, maybe July to we actually have a candidate who's been interviewed and everything. So we're we're you know we're here. It took a long time, but we're here. Okay, uh, age friendly cities. Okay, um, that we won't. We have uh, any value. Uh, not even an evaluation, but um, a, an agreement, a letter of agreement with that the mayor is going to have to sign, and I'll be bringing that to my next um, management meeting with him. And um, hopefully, we'll start 
you know, doing all of the, um, the, the legwork that comes along with that credential of age-friendly cities, hopefully we'll begin that under Cindy Langley's direction in September. Mm -hmm. From the board, there's somebody from, from the board that's also involved. Someone from, from the Deborah, board. Deborah Epstein. Oh, Deborah she comes oh, in. Here she is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, on to EARN. Okay. I'm kind of excited about the EARN program. Um, and it, the group of people who are representing um, older people themselves um, who have uh, looking for employment and who have you know, pretty I interesting backgrounds that could be employed um, are taking a very strong leadership role. I'm kind of only the cheerleader on this committee. Um, and we're working closely with the Career Center, and there's a few other um, partners that are out there from a, a national perspective. There's this program called Reserve. Um, we're, we're trying to rethink where we want to go with that. Um, and then, again, the Career Center is taking up a, a very close, uh, are going to be really supporting us. Um, we anticipate two workshops, one in uh, June and no, one in July and one in August, and then we hope to have um, an employment fair um, in September or October. And again, the committee is organizing just about everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, do you want to do committee reports? Okay, I'm going to hand that over. <laughs> do you want to um, retail and all the rest of well, I'm not sure if you noticed as you walked in, but the gift shop has been repainted. Um, the men from the jail came down and painted that yesterday. We'll put all the merchandise we have left back in there tomorrow and Monday and sort of reopen. We're also in the process of trying to get new merchandise and make some new partnerships with businesses in Northampton. So we had a meeting with Suzanne Beck from the Chamber and she was very supportive so we're talking about possibly having an article in their newsletter and having a letter go out to area businesses explaining. Um, I think you all know we get that donation from Cedar Chest mm -hmm. um, explaining why they do that and how generous they've been but it's also a tax write-off for them. Mm -hmm. So it's something we could do with other businesses in town. That's sort of what's going on with the retail committee. We have a meeting at the end of June um, for our volunteer shoppers to start mobilizing them. You know, we're trying to have things in the gift shop that are very functional and affordable. Mm -hmm. That seems to be what people are buying when they're buying things here. Um, any questions about the retail committee? Mm -hmm. Is that it for the committee? No. Nope. This is the big one's <laughs> coming now. So, um, the food committee, we met with some people from the jail yesterday, Tuesday. Tuesday they came down and we talked about what needs to happen next. Um, John Kuzinski was there, so jump in if you want, John. But you know, we're in the very serious part where we're starting to talk about the menu and how to purchase food and sort of start nailing down all the logistics. So we're looking at an October 3rd start date. We will be doing Tuesday and Thursday afternoons to start and sort of seeing how it goes. You want to add anything, John? I don't think so. Yeah, I think our next step is that we're going to be meeting with the chef from the jail to really nail down the menus and purchasing and that kind of stuff. The food committee. And then the room usage or space committee, as we sometimes call it. I'm not sure if anyone was able to take a peek into the games room. If you take a peek in the games room, you'll see that there's a second pool table waiting to be assembled. So we move some of the stuff out of there and make way for that. Um, we are going to have to start shifting space once we open the bistro in the fall. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to think about that without waiting for other programs. But I think 
in terms of space, we're pretty much at capacity in all the rooms between rentals and programs and all that kind of stuff. So, anything to say about space? Um, no. Uh, the only other thing that has to do with space is our hours expansion. Mm -hmm. So we're now open 8 to 5. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference in the morning because it's just that 15 minutes. Although they're loving it in the fitness center because we have people that are in there at like 8 o'clock on the dot. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the tail end of the day, we're now open an extra hour. Um, so that's helped me a little bit because now all of our rooms are available for an extra hour every day. And I can kind of, that'll help me move around some stuff, especially when it comes time to, to get everyone out of the bistro. Um, so that's the only thing right now. We have one new program coming that's going to specifically be in that time spot. Healthy Bones and Balance is going to be four to five. Um, I don't remember, know which day of the week yet. Um, but we're ready to utilize that extra hour. So. Program, sorry. Um, healthy Bones and Balance. Yep. Is that the former, formerly known as the osteoporosis? Yes. Extra and nutritionist. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that an official. Started, right? <laughs> it's an yeah. official program. They get trained at RSVP and they yeah. have to meet all sorts of. And I, I used to coordinate. I Linda started it, but then after Linda, I, I used to coordinate it. Right. As well. I, I, if I just can say, I think it's great that it's going to be at four o'clock because um, that used to be when all the programs are during the day, not, er, there are some people who are still working. Right, Yeah. Right. So, so it, yeah. it opens up improved access yeah. to programs from here. And it's kind yeah. of been determined that classes like that, that need equipment, that need a certain kind of chair, there's really no other option except the activities room. And we've actually been holding on to, this program has been like waiting in the wings because there was no availability in that room. So now that we have an extra hour in the activities room every day, we can finally kind of roll it out. So I'm looking at that for July. And then, and, and I just want to verify that's no charge, right? Or is it no. a small donation? I no. don't believe there's a charge because I know the instructor's a volunteer. Right, um, there's volunteers through RSVP. Yep, yeah, and, and all of the equipment, um, a lot of the equipment RSVP provides and things like that, so there's no cost to us for it. So there shouldn't nice. be a cost to the, some places, I know the East Hampton Senior Center asked for a $3, through Gliffy, as they asked for a $3 donation. Yeah. Uh, so we're, I, certainly a, we're certainly able to do that if we decide to. That's all I'm, yeah, yeah if you yeah. decide to. So that's great. Yeah. So that's I'm happy kind of space to hear. related, but that's yeah. all I got. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Victoria. Does she have a day or a week? I don't know yet. Um, it's kind of nice, though, because we have four to five available now any day of the week, yeah. which is like completely unprecedented. I'm not used to that. I'm like, it has to be a Monday or a Friday. So, so I'm going to kind of leave that up to the instructor. Yeah. Any other questions on the committees? Oh, OK. We, we put, yes? Yeah. Um, how did you determine Tuesdays and Thursdays for the day? That was when my best volunteers were available <laughs> at this point. Okay. So that's, it's working did, 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 with look, did, did anybody take the time to look at the number of people in the building between 11.30 and 1 o'clock? Tuesdays and Thursdays are the busiest days here. Okay, that's my question. Thank and you. I think it also, Tuesdays and Thursdays have the least impact in terms of the programs happening in the bistro. Okay. So like tea will move, you know, things like that, but yeah, yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> Next question, do we have hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to aim for a soup yeah. salad. We're yeah. yeah. trying to aim for soup salad, sort of light, you know, our mm -hmm. serving Sam's senior population. And, you know, we don't want to do a bunch of high sodium Heart right. attack. Right. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. Trying to work. Yeah. I know. So just, and I think it's great that the inmates are going to cook. Yeah. yeah. I think that's super. And it's a really clean yeah. heart yeah. It's one of the big reasons that we're able to do it, which is very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus the fact, Jim, you have an in. Just talk to that guy next to you over there and say, throw a couple hot dogs on. <laughs> you know, he bring might your own. Like, bring, bring your own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll heat them up for you. We could just have that all. Yes. That's no big deal. Yeah. You're wondering why you're going to have a question? Yeah. yeah. I don't need another one. Well, just be glad you're not his wife, right? Yeah. Thank God I'm not nobody's wife at the moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Smart. <laughs> At the moment, do you have plans for the future? <laughs> you never know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Keep that open. Okay. Okay, we move on to extended hours now. Mm -hmm. oh, I kind of already did that. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of already did that. But I, I, it's kind of, it, was, it doesn't affect us at all. Yeah. And, and the other thing, the final staff person that we just hired, um, um, Michael Gray, who's been working as a building monitor for about four, four years here, um, is, it, he's, his hours are from 1.30 to 5.30, so he does all the yeah. close up. So he closes for us every day. Yeah, which is, it, it works out really well. Yeah. yeah. This so week has been like, oh, am I closing? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I know, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's yeah. really been good. So we we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, let's uh, move on to Elder Vision. Anything to say? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> we, uh, we, are, we are getting uh, small donations from America's Charities, uh, which is, I think, now it's something on. It's on the internet anyway, people go in and put money in. We get $30, $60, about once a month. That's about our only income at the moment. So we're kind of frozen. We're going to be looking into possibilities and grants. It could be written, uh, and a 501c3 would be handy to put a grant into. For so, and we haven't as yet got a bill from Seth Myers for our volunteer luncheon. So whether he he's is too rich there. to be bothered sending out bills or what, I don't know. Oh, yesterday, and so he really would like to pay. <laughs> he's but really busy. We have the money there. It's and, uh, June, so he's yeah. busy. With our fiscal year closing, we have to pay. It gets right. very complicated, or it has to go back in front of the um, city council. Yeah. It gets complicated. That's why we have to get Is all. Is he aware aware of that? If not, um, I don't know if I said it quite that bluntly. But yeah. It, yeah. Well, it's going to be paid out of both division. Think you got to pay the. Uh, so there's yeah, a oh, so, so it doesn't no, matter. No, doesn't matter. We can that. pay any time. We don't have a. Right. No, never mind. Yeah, thank you. Still, thank you, fiscal yeah. um, the wizard. <laughs> president treasurer. <laughs> yeah, that's not the true. Only one we can write the check anytime, right, Lynn? We don't have to worry about the um, we don't have to worry yeah. about the city well, since it's coming out of elder Exactly. So yeah. it's whatever. Okay. So it's, no. I can write the check anytime you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And trips and travel we are still using as a conduit for some trips. Now, Susie and I are going on a trip to Gloucester. We're writing a check directly to the uh, travel agency. But when uh, Barbara Kaczynski did her trip to, uh, what was that trip? Closet. Yeah. And she put it all, uh, all had all them write checks to the uh, Elder Vision Trips and Travel. We put it in there. And then recently I just wrote a check to the, for the total into, I, I think because of the, the, probably because the che checks were coming in, people wrote two and three checks. Mm -hmm. They were a little bit yes. down and then they wrote more and then they cleaned it up. So it's probably easier to put it all through trips and travel and just send one check to the travel agency. Yes, yes. Right. While we're on the trip business, yes. I took the trip to the Patriots place. Mm -hmm. And the restaurant, um, we were told to bring your credit card, well, uh, to bring cash. Well, the restaurant did not take cash. Oh, oh, wow. So we all had to figure out what our bill was because they oh. wouldn't do individual checks. We had to figure it out with the tip. And we gave the money to, what's her name? Francine. 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 And she paid with the credit card. And um, most, a lot of them were objecting to that particular way of doing business. Mm -hmm. So if you know uh, the restaurant is not going to do separate checks or credit card, uh, you should know that in advance. Yeah. Okay. Because people thought that she was using, and I'm not one of them, that she was using her points, you know, mm. to pay for, you know. Or, or that uh, person, do you mean the person's accruing, whoever uses the credit card, I think we are saying, the, they're accruing uh, points. For whatever, I don't know. I, I knew what he meant. Yeah. yeah. All the, she's not, it's probably not so. But with everything that she does, I oh, know that's yeah. Yeah. That's really who are they? Yeah. I am really <laughs> stay off the trips. Yeah. Yeah. Stay yeah. home and bitch. I right, right, all the time. right. No, I, 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 I understood what you were saying. That awesome. I'm not saying it was right of them to yeah, be worried but, about that. I'm just saying I understand. The fact that they would yeah. even think that. That's why this woman is here 
uh, uh, like uh, four or five days a week and, yes. and for and and just all yeah. as a volunteer and she doesn't even live in Northampton no, no. 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 she should get her push she should get yeah. her yeah. but then yeah. yeah. it's a member who works just somebody to think yeah. about that is like yeah. wow yeah. and yeah. you know yeah. how it works yeah, yeah. just saying just even think yeah. about it well, yeah. they wouldn't take cash or they wouldn't yeah. take credit cards? I mean, they wouldn't yeah. take yeah. credit cards, but oh, she did oh, pay. She did pay with a credit card. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They wouldn't no, take you said that you said they wouldn't take cash. Yeah, they wouldn't take cash. That's correct. And they wouldn't take yeah. credit cards yeah. from us. Bye -bye. Barbara, thank you for bringing up that yeah. point. Well, yeah. how do they pay? You just had to tell us the money. Yeah, they don't have to pay with credit cards. No, they don't have to pay. Okay, can we move on to Northampton Neighbors? Sure. Uh, this is a very, very exciting initiative. And um, we're, we have uh, a memorandum of understanding that I have to bring to the mayor. Um, and for approximately a year, we'll have the Northampton neighbors under our umbrella um, if, if the mayor is in agreement of this. There's 110 people who have signed in to be, me uh, to be members in, in various wards. It's based on a ward um, initiative. And um, it's um, it, what I'm looking from a gerontological perspective. Um, I think it's very exciting, and and anyone who's had that background uh, sees this because there's so many gaps in the neighborhoods. You know, it, we we cover we do a lot of stuff here. Highland Valley does a lot of stuff, but it's also based on the fact that there's an income eligibility usually with Highland Valley and. Um, and this gives you a chance for Mrs. Smith, who's 92 years old or something, living on Middle Street, to be part of a, a neighborhood support system. And um, again, this, the, the system is based on the village, which is, um, there's 220 villages in the United States. Um, some of them um, um, survive on a membership fee. Um, the, our board decided, which I was uh, connected with, um, decided not to do the fee because this is Northampton and that it, it just it, it excludes people if someone has to write a check for $500 a year to get the services from the neighbors. Mm -hmm. So um, they've been very, very uh, successful in the Valley Gives. They've received over $10,000 in oh, Valley okay. Gives, mm -hmm. and um, they're looking on getting a few more grants. So as soon as they get a certain, uh, certain, uh, I, I'm not quite sure what the monetary um, goal is, but as soon as they get that, they'll have their own um, meeting space, they'll have their own um, part-time staff person. Um, but it, it'll be a good partnership. So we're excited. I hope the, the mayor supports it. Well, this also includes a uh, service of calling up people who live alone uh, on a daily basis to see if everything's okay. It could, it could be just about them. anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, one of the things that I'm thinking about, and um, there's a, a big, a very big AARP grant, a national grant out there. And, it, and when you go for these grants, it, it gets very, very competitive. And um, some of the wards actually have listservs in place mm -hmm. that are really kind of exciting, like uh, Ward 4 has a listserv. And I'm thinking how it would be really exciting to have a listserv for um, all of the older people that um, you know, are living alone, but but because we are also know that there, most of the people are probably like me and don't even know what a listserv is, but, um, but they would have a tech buddy from yeah. high school. Yeah. So that, uh, you know, so say Mrs. Smith needs her, her um, driveway shoveled, um, she lets her tech buddy know, and then all of Northampton knows somebody's in that neighborhood can do her, her, her sidewalk for her. Are you, are you saying because they will put it out on via the Northampton neighbors uh, list? So, so we probably the neighborhood, the, the yeah. ward. In that neighborhood, right. Yeah, because I think yeah. from that if, if you're in a neighborhood, um, more likely you know, it's you're easier to go around the corner and do your shoveling or pick up that grocery store, grocery yeah. pickup or your yeah, prescription. So, yeah. Elizabeth, so you were at, Barbara was asking what is a, we were saying what, uh, identified what a listserv is. Okay, you want to tell that? Oh, I thought you wanted to. No, no, just okay. no. Okay. Okay. Well, as my understanding of what it is, is yeah. just a, a database mm -hmm. of people's so emails okay. that, uh, so that uh, you could put out the information via yeah. that that it's, you want to disseminate. It's, it's, through your, it's, yeah, it's an app through your cell phone. 
Um, yeah. There's a listserv app. Is that yeah. it? It's an app on a smart app. Called listserv. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad you're you're talking about sharing yeah. that because I didn't know you looked to me and I didn't know that, <laughs> yeah. that either. Yeah. So well, I actually knew it because I, I sat on this it. committee. You know but uh, for instance, though, yeah. I think yeah. on, on the uh, list, uh, the um, Ward Four, I think they have something like 200 or 300 right. people um, in the neighborhood, and it's really interesting because whenever anyone Needs. in that group has a need, yeah. there's about four people that respond to that need. You can put it out via oh. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. using your smartphone. Yeah. 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 And it's a voluntary yeah. service. So yeah. is this Northampton neighbors yeah. is all voluntary. So if, if you're going to shovel someone's driveway, you don't charge the person. Right. And you're, and you're That's the system. whole idea behind it is that yeah. it, if I understand it correctly, mm -hmm. is that they're, yeah. we're all you helping know, each other. Mm -hmm. If, if this not was the perfect charging. world yeah. and this was 100 years ago, the, we probably wouldn't need this, right. you know. Mm -hmm. But we have to sort of get this, um, we, we have, have to, to open the, those doors yeah. again. Yeah. And so. we have to, you know, we're pretty, we're altruistic people, right? right? Sometimes, um, you know, you think liability, you think, oh, you know, I wish I could help her, but she probably doesn't need my help. I mean, this is the way we think, that we've been socialized to think. So we're just kind of giving everybody an okay that, um, first of all, they're building community. So say there's the 200, there'll be 200 volunteers. We haven't even pushed it. Um, that, you know, there'll be activities. They'll participate in some of our activities. They might do activities in Lily Library or Forbes Library. So there'll be another sense of small communities. So we yeah. will probably be the mothership, but there'll be um, a little mm -hmm. lot of satellites. <coughs> they, I know you, you do medical transportation. <coughs> they were even talking about uh, medical transportation as being um, uh, an example of something people might volunteer to do for each other, and of course, using and I brought up the point at the Ward Six meeting, and Marianne and I had agreed, of course, to a uh, large the city council of using, making sure this the vans here and everything are used to capacity that the I don't, and then you know if people still need additional help, you know to get medical transportation elsewhere. But I we talked about that it's not. They're not looking to compete. It was my understanding with city services or no. services through Highland Valley or anything that other things that are already being offered, mm -hmm. but to um, complement it. So that's what I wanted to well, our, share. Our service is strictly yeah. age uh, dependent, yeah. and well, so this would, would possibly take care of people younger. Well, actually, that's something Linda, you and I were talking about the other day. That I think mm. you were saying there is still a focus on. Um, older, older folks, but I think it came up, and you said, if I remember it, that if somebody's disabled, has mm -hmm. a disability, or mm -hmm. some sort, and they're under, I don't know what will the age sixty, if they're under sixty, that yeah. they would, you were saying, would be included. Um, that's that's something that the board is talking about. That they're in the midst you know, of. I don't think about. that it will be more or less advertised, but you know, if someone comes with a, an issue that that they need some kind, some type of support and you know I don't think that people would say no no, no. just arrange it ahead of time some people who are willing to drive and then if it comes up as as a need like you said Mrs Smith and her shoveling mm -hmm. if she calls up her tech buddy and says I got a doctor's appointment next week I'm not sure how I'm going to get there how but then but every single one of those volunteers will know that we have a medical transport system and that you know so there'll be a, a balance of you know, but if your woman, if your the woman next door to you is a Northampton neighbor, and you know Ashley goes to Amherst for work, right. of course they're gonna drop you off on the way. It and makes then, sense. You know, and then maybe, yeah. but it's gonna be like everyone. Uh, Highland Valley has met with us. Um, the VNA has met with us, and everyone is on board. So and that there'll the be a professional support system. So are, are people bonding with or, or connecting with, a lot of the uh, wards have their own sort of group, you know, yep. group anyway, mm -hmm. so they're well, I, yeah. not, may I respond to that? Sure. I brought that up, mm -hmm. I brought that up with members of the Northampton Neighbors Board mm -hmm. and with the city councilor and from Ward 6. So for example, in Ward 6, and I've been the president of our street association, yeah. 
and was that kind of the kind of thing yeah, you were referring to? And mm -hmm. so I brought that up as a way of, um, and then you start using those street associations that they have the database, yeah. you know, and they already have. E we email each other, and it's a similar yeah. setup. That when someone needs them, somebody emailed and said, "My husband's looking for a bike. Can we? Does someone have a bike they're not using? Can I buy? You know, can we buy it or or?" And then a few people responded. I responded saying, I have, you could use my bike anytime you want, or, you know, my extra bike. But that's just a small example. Yeah. But but I had, and so I put, Marianne and I are working on identifying um, what are these, where are the neighborhood associations within Ward 6? Okay. And then contacting the, the next step would be to contact the, the presidents yeah. of those mm -hmm. neighborhood associations to let them know about Northampton neighbors because they might want to, I was just saying, it might be a great way to utilize yeah. these associations. There's already a built-in infrastructure. Like, I know everyone who lives on my street, mm -hmm. and they know who I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and they know, and so I could call, we could put something out there saying, would you want to help shovel or whatever. Mm -hmm. But would they, but I guess my question is, is maybe when we get to that point, I would want to learn more about how to then, um, I guess people in the a street association would need to know then to sign up with Northampton neighbors. Is that how it would? Right. You know, we could figure it still, out. We're still at yeah. that place of yeah. the yeah. place. Um, they're hoping to have a, um, a, a to a, um, have in September to actually officially open it. You know, have it launch. And then you had said there would be a training. If, um, I don't know yeah, if you wanted to tell everyone I'm volunteer training. training. I'm supposed to be supporting that mm -hmm. initiative. Yeah. Well, and I and you had asked me to support you yeah. in that, which I would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. to train the volunteers, just how the RSVP yeah. osteoporosis expert, the bones and balance people are trained. Mm -hmm. So yeah. would the, these people be? The trained. challenge, the only challenge that I see right now is finding the older people, and this is it's really interesting because. You know, people, um, the the community. I, mean, I would say that the average person is about uh, maybe about five years younger than me. The average volunteer. So um, we're we're looking. And that's why we're bringing the professionals. But we're also asking the the neighbors to start. You know, introducing um, their older neighbor that they might have contact with, that they have the trust element with, to uh, to introduce them to join their neighbors. So. You know, um, it'll be interesting, but I think it's um, it's a really good yeah. initiative. Yeah. And um, the executive office of elder affairs, where we get a percentage of our funding, um, is is really applauding um, the way we're developing mm -hmm. it versus you know writing your check like Beacon Hill for a thousand dollars and you get all this exclusive stuff, but that's not here mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. Any other questions on the uh, neighbors? Okay, we'll move on to the van update. Okay. Well, it, we're, we're getting there, and Jen has done a fabulous job getting everything organized. She's, she's just remarkable, and as all my staff, all, all my staff, all the staff here are. They're, they're what a team. Anyway, um, so we're ready to look at that second van, and we're thinking we're kind of following a, um, a sort of a, an outline of what East Hampton's doing, because certain days they're bringing people over to Hadley, certain days they're bringing people over to the different shopping centers, and that's what we're organizing. And um, hopefully by, in, by June 15th, when we have to get to um, the deadline for elder, uh, the um, Chronicle will be able to um, have kind of a list so people will know when they can, well, we'd love to bring you over to the Big Y on Tuesdays and mm -hmm. Stop and Chop on Wednesdays and Hadley. Those are so that we're going to kind of, um, again, expand the more pronounced days um, in our anthem. So, and then who knows where we'll go. So that'll be June, July, and then We'll start thinking maybe fun trips. We've already done one fun trip, and it was really it was pretty successful. So that's it. Any other questions on the vans? Okay. Well, I don't value the service. Kathy? Well, unfortunately, I was away, so I couldn't go to any okay. um, meeting this past Monday. Very good. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, can you just say if you ever need a sub? Mm, okay. I'm wondering if that might be a good idea. That if you know. Okay. Uh, to 
I'm happy to yeah. be a okay. sub. If okay, I don't know if that can be done. I'm, sure. You're I'm not sure. sure. She's an employee of Highland Valley. Right? Oh, so but that's yeah. why you... Well, I'm not an employee. You're not? No, I'm <laughs> you're okay. I'm, oh. I'm, sorry, I'm a you're thinking we, have, we used to have a yeah, capacity yeah, to have three yeah. representatives from yeah. our board, or yeah. three representatives yeah. from yeah. Hampton on their yeah. board. I think they don't have each, to this board. Each senior center, or doesn't it work that way? It has the right population. Yeah. yeah. It both depends on the size of the town. Right, yeah. that they have representation. So all I'm saying is mm -hmm. that it might be yeah. useful yeah. Yeah. to yeah. have yeah. a if substitute. If anybody's, anybody's interested, I think that's, that's the point. Yeah. Of it. Not just the substitute, but somebody has to kind of want when we had three people on the board, it was easy just, I mean, um, but. You used to have two other people with yeah. you who, yeah. who. I can do that because I'm already affiliated with them volunteering. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should um, talk to. Uh, I'll talk to Alan to get a yeah. update on. Yeah, this board is a point of representative. Too, so I, I think I could sit in on those meetings. Yeah. yeah. So they want three people. Oh, we have the opportunity for three people. Give three. We have so, the capacity for three. So we need. So it might make sense to formally have yeah. three, and then yeah. one person. Yeah. It doesn't have to always be one person yeah. at the meeting. But there are also a vice chair. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I didn't hear what you said. Yeah. 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 The we had the new vice chair before you came in, and I don't know what the vice chair does, but I, I'm the vice chair. Congratulations! Yeah. So yeah. might be a new duty. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, yeah. what you generally you do is if I get incapacitated or just forget and have a seat. You won't remember what? to tell me that you have a senior moment. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Uh, he just doesn't show up. <laughs> but the other thing is that there are, uh, they have open seats from, from the community. Other oh, people are nice here too. who are not from councils on aging. Oh, yeah. We used to have somebody who was a lawyer in town, but he's never been to meetings, so now. When do they meet? Yeah. Usually um, Monday afternoons at 2 30, the first Monday of the month. I think we have to, the board has to formally uh, appoint someone. Yeah. And then notify uh, Adam Valley Elder Services. Right. If you're interested, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a substitute. I mean, well, we, both of us wouldn't go each Yeah, well, both of us, everybody always wins. Because you have to kind of oh. be aware of what, oh. see, that's the thing. You have to be aware of what's going on. I mean, if you go to a substitute, Follow you go once every three months. Why? Yeah, you know, well, months well or the sub, or whoever. I guess what I was thinking is whoever is available to go would be the one who would report back at the at our next. I don't think so. I think they would go all the time. I think it would be very time. difficult to be That's there right. and report back when you because there's a lot. Of, it's pretty complicated. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Plus, you have to be a. You also have to volunteer um, to be on another one, a couple of their committees. I'm on a few committees. If you wanted to be, if you wanted to fill that position, you have to go to every meeting. Yeah, that's or what I'm saying. Or as many as you can come back. So you're saying even if you're allotted three people, for example, I heard to say from here, then they expect they all, have all three people yep. to go right. at yep. the time. Correct. Yeah. Correct. The town did have two, both of them show up yeah. as a board. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like being a board. A lot of work. No, it's, it's, it is essentially, you'll be appointed up to be on that board. Yeah. And now, you know, it is. I mean, well, you're expected to um, no, also. She does go to the Highland Valley meeting. I usually go, but yeah, I was just away. She was away. away. And then if there is more, if you are away, at least one of us will right, be somebody, there. Is all somebody has to say. be committed to go and be yeah. involved and also to be on some of their other committees. Too. Right. You know, yeah. I have to be on the money management. And, you know, or you, you have to volunteer and do a lot in terms of the organization. Uh -huh. It's not just uh -huh. meetings. Right. That's recent changes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you call those? <laughs> the new director? Because it's, I'm already a volunteer Probably. over there. So mm -hmm. Oh, so that makes sense? Yeah. Oh, but we have to be on the community committee. So we're going to do a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a commitment if you want to make yeah, it. It's you know, a commitment. Title three grants. You know, being on that. OK. Uh, New business for the genealogy workshops. Um, in the next few months, we're going to have a couple of um, workshops specifically on different topics. And then um, we're going to ask Susan to answer to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's, she's a genealogist, too. Anyway, um, we, we hope to have a, a really big seminar on genealogy to see where it goes. Because lots and lots of people are showing um, a, an excitement about genealogy and we're going to do it in partnership with the library the mm -hmm. forest library okay any other questions on that okay employment fair um i think i you uh, can kind of cover that yeah. yeah 
with your 90th birthday party. Nobody here qualifies. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm working on the 90th birthday party. It's a 90 and up birthday party, so 90th isn't necessarily all that descriptive. Um, 90 plus. 90 yeah, so it's everyone over the age of 90 in the North Kenton area gets invited. So the list I use is like anybody who has a birthday 1927 or earlier, um, and I get that list from the city, so it's pretty accurate. Um, <coughs> I don't want to say it's 100% accurate, but it's, it's, you know, it's fairly accurate. So we sent out 322 invitations mm -hmm. just um, late wow. last week, early this week. Um, I, my understanding, this is my first one, of course, but my understanding is that there's usually anywhere from 50 to 100 people. Um, John and Barbara have graciously offered to help us out with the food for that. It's just finger sandwiches and pasta <laughs> salad. It's a very light lunch, uh, but we do cake. And we'll have entertainment, um, and everybody over the age of 100. And I think, I think there were invitations sent to about 20 people who were over the age of 100. There's 18. 18 actually alive today. Yeah. Right. Oh, I just see that. So they all got invitations as well. I actually just got my first two RSVPs this afternoon. So we have two people coming <laughs> right now. Right. What is what is the date? It is June 28th. Wednesday, June 28th, it's from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So if you'd like to volunteer, just let me know. Heather's looking for volunteers. Is that a little park? It's here. Oh, right here. Heather's park. I've already volunteered that night. I believe so. I just like going to have to So it'll be really nice. I volunteer. Um, the invitations are cute. We have a couple of extras. Um, we do little postcards. I wasn't bothering with envelopes. Um, I imagine other people will show up with someone. Well, that's the thing. So it's free for the person who's celebrating a birthday if they want to bring guests or if they want to bring any kind of assistant or aid. Um, I believe we did like a six dollar charge for that guest. Maybe somebody will call for the van to bring. I know. Party. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, what a great yeah. idea! We'll ready. Yeah. Yeah. Party bus. Somebody should. Yeah. Yeah. Party bus. Yeah. Party bus. Party bus. Or, or maybe it could be advertised with it that the van will. Yeah, you it's know, a balloon the rounds to pick people up to come. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll have to um, I'll have to talk to Jen, but that's certainly a, a, an option if it's available yeah, that day. Well, we'll it'll get well back and forth, forth. You know, soon, soon, soon. We can just stack them. Yeah, <laughs> like stack. Well, the old van, uh, uh, Rufus and I picked up uh, three people from nursing homes went in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. One year, we made one trip out. We put two of them in there, and we came back and made another trip out. And so uh, that would be the old van. Yeah. We needed the need van lift, of course. Yeah. And lift. I mean, I think it'll be nice if people bring, like, their son or daughter, or right. you know what I mean? Like, that'll make it a lot of really enjoyable. So we're hoping for that. So that'll be good. Um, we're going to do a cake, and we, we're thinking about doing birthday <laughs> cards for everyone. So it'll be, it'll be a really nice little event. So we're on track for that. OK, any other questions about the 90s? And you're all waiting to be invited, I'm sure. <laughs> In a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sleep research. Um, okay. Oh, everyone wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you all about it. Um, uh, anyway, uh, UMass have approached us about to, you know, just um, announcing that we they had a sleep research and looking for people who wanted to participate participate in the research and um, they got an outstanding response so um, they they expanded from two forums to three forums and there's a second part of the research where um, you get a, a Fitbit um, to participate um, and 40 people yeah. um, are 20 people with without any sleep problems and 20 people who have uh, well I think that it has to do with the sleep problems with chronic pain I chronic think that pain. was the thing that yes. they wanted to do around Paris and that in terms of chronic pain, but it also um, does, looks at seniors' sort of comfort using certain technologies. Mm -hmm. So, and unfortunately, I don't qualify. I'm not too young. Five until December. So. You have to wait to your 90th birthday. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's interesting. Oh, my, my health rate went in everything. But what was really interesting, and it was kind of this aha experience for me, there were so many people that responded. And usually when you do a research project, it's you have to kind of 
go right. under rocks to right. find right. people yeah. to participate. But, but that's what the thing so, was, it was the way it's not, um, you know, that kind of research thing. It, it's very, you know, oh, people are going to get something that fit the thing. And it is, it doesn't involve a lot of, you know, I mean, you have to remember to, you know, hear about it. Yeah. Are they but still recruiting? Participants or no? So that it, part is over and it yeah. started. Build their capacity. Yeah. So part of uh, the the fun part is that um, a part oh, another researcher from UMass is kind of this guru on sleep, oh. and um, uh, she uh, has written a number of books on the topic, oh. and so she's um, offered to do. A, I I asked her because I I just kept hearing all of these stories from so many people about their sleep issues. And so she's coming to do a seminar here, um, mm -hmm. and we just have to figure out the day um, for it to happen. But it, we just we have such a resource, a resource, human oh, resources. Wonderful. So many talented people out there. Mm -hmm. What's her? Her name is Rebecca something. Rebecca. Yeah. I something. I yeah yeah. I was like writing Rebecca down and yeah. of Sleepy Brook <laughs> Farms. <laughs> right. Sleepy Brook. So, there's a lot of humor in this group today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we're very somber group. <laughs> okay, uh, writing conference. So this is something that Mr. Spencer and I have been working on, um, and in conjunction with Heather. Um, I know last meeting I kind of gave you all a sample of our little brochure and a, an event proposal. Um, so I don't necessarily have anything new. Um, it's all kind of the same information that was included in that packet. Just as a little refresher, it's we're planning it for next spring. So it will be May 4th and 5th. It's a Friday and Saturday. Um, it, the only impact on the senior center will be that Friday. So it kind of be a situation like what we already do with the um, health and safety fair where you know we kind of just shut down regular programming for that day. Um, so it's not unheard of, it won't be too much of a, you, know, you give everyone plenty of notice and it won't be too much of a disturbance. Um, but it's very exciting, it's affordable, it's gonna feature a lot of local people. Um, I'm gonna let Jim give you more of an update on the specifics. Just as an aside, you might be able to put in for some grants like the Arts Council, that would be something applicable for oh, All sorts of stuff. And that yeah. time of year one. Yep. Well, and that's the thing too, is that we're looking to pay as little as possible out of pocket. So right. even so just things like some, uh, sponsorships, we have a lot of, we have the libraries, we have the bookstores, we have so right. many right. universities, there's absolutely no reason for this to really cost us anything um, with sponsorships and donations and, and fundraising. And, and then we have the ticket sales as well, which is helpful. Um, they're not expensive to the participants, but they would cover any, whatever little costs that we do end up having. Anything to add, Jim? I have tons to add. <laughs> uh -oh. we'll, make it, we'll make it really quick. Give us the nutshell. Um, upshot is the best thing we have Seth Howard coming to be the keynote speaker. Mm. Seth is a major player in the mystery writing. He's had five, four bestsellers on the New York Times bestseller list. Um, he charges $5,000 per hour to teach, and he's doing it for me for free. Not even, not even, you know, I have to take him to my house for lunch and wine, but other than <laughs> you know, other than that, it's free. Um, we have three other bestsellers, one guaranteed, and two others are going. We have a co-sponsor for this, which is the Pioneer Valley Writers College, uh -huh. and they're going to bring some of their instructors in. I have 12 instructors already guaranteed. We have three poets. We're going to have, I have 11 agents signed up to come to wow. talk to people for agents. Yep. So one I want if you want to sell a book. Yep. Um, we've had two publishers. Yeah. Wow. And then we're talking about doing a panel um, with all the authors of the book. We got a panel. Here. We had the Elks Club for the Saturday night after it's all over for a meet yeah. and greet and mm -hmm. holly, you know, cocktails and, yeah. and food and all that stuff. Um, you know, I don't know how you reach these people, but there are a lot of book groups. People are in book oh, groups. Right. But how to reach well, them? Like up the wazoo. Like you, yeah. you know what my problem is right now? Mm -hmm. I, my problem is I think it's too small of a venue. Yeah. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. I've already sold a hundred tickets for both days. Oh, um, I didn't know you were selling tickets already. Well, I'm, I'm taking, uh, oh, please, you know, in advance, 
for the, the people that I know that are writers over 60, yeah. 65, because we're gonna do it, if it's not all filled up by what we say, March or April, then we're gonna put it out to the rest of the world. But yeah, there's, there's a priority there. registration priority for registration. seniors. And there's priority registration for seniors, and there will be like a okay. traditional registration period. And okay. we're charging $50 a day for each day and 100 bucks for both of them. Yeah. And we haven't decided on a meal charge yet or whatever about that. But with 100 bucks at 100 people, that's about, what, $10,000 probably? Yeah. And to, be perfectly, and to be perfectly honest, a hundred dollars for a two-day conference with so much content Everybody jumped on is that. extremely affordable. I've attended a lot of training club conferences, and some of them are just two days. Yeah, for for two days, some of them are upwards of you know five hundred dollars. So I paid I paid seventeen fifty for the Writers Digest two-day conference. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. $17. No, seventeen hundred. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> yeah, so right here. Small right here. In the See, we, we, we're trying to limit it about two hundred people. Yeah, by the time we start breaking them up, and that's going to become an issue, maybe. And I'm going to go talk to World War II Club and the Alps and see if we can maybe work some swings oh. around here. Well, it'll be really. Places. It's going to take a lot <laughs> of. Um, very careful logistics planning. Yes. Yes. It's kind of yes. nice though because I do it every day with all our programs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it'll take a lot of like, you know, we can have something, in terms of the conference, we can have something happening in every room in the whole senior center yep. simultaneously. Yep. Um, so it's a lot of opportunity, you know, but, but our goal would be to have every room having something going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. And for every room to be at capacity so we can have 20 yeah. people in this room we can have pre-registration is going to be a mandatory in it you know right. before I mean, you go for this yeah. class and and also, there might be other though. spaces like i help out at the oxbow gallery and they've had readings and things there so it's a small space but you might be able but to it's getting the people from here to there oh it's there. not that oxbow is right up on pleasant street you know, but if you put your head, is further away. Yeah, yeah but if you kind of, that's is, what I'm yeah, saying. But yeah, it, this could yeah. take some. It, this, we're just, way into this. Yeah. All right. The best thing is yes. we've got the participants right. for the yeah. instructors, yeah. and and yeah. that's the, the most important people. part because without that, we actually don't yeah. have anything. So yeah. 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 exactly. Well, the Calvin House might have people, or the Gazette they have open office. We have all kinds of time to figure this out. Yeah. 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 But we're on the road, and the, the oars are in the water. Are we on the road or in the water? <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, she mixes metaphors. <laughs> I like it. A little I like bit, it. you know. <laughs> We're rowing down the road. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Okay. Any other questions about the writers' conference? Okay. Well, good luck. And uh, oh, we already have all volunteers we need also. Ah, you do. Yep. I was just leaving you a love note, nope. and I wanted Vaughn. Did you know that's what I was doing? No. Nope. <laughs> but the Same. volunteers are going to be all my creative writing people because well, they can't afford it. Uh, so I'm in that group. Very good. All right. I'm good thank you, Jim. Everybody yeah. gets a little bit of a bend here. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. About that conference. For the six this is sort of goes with the conference. Yesterday, if anybody saw me in the library with that lady. I was doing an interview on writers, the writers group and conference for Susie Speaks, which is a local TV show and on Channel 57, I guess it is. Oh. So we got a little bit of a, the senior Susie center Susie in there. The I thought Joe said it was a blog. Huh? I thought Joe said it was a blog. It is, but I guess it goes on the TV. But it also goes on yeah. 57. Yeah. yeah. So Joe, it's Good Joe's daughter, but it's great publicity. We had fun, and I'll be doing it again. Mm -hmm. And everybody, all of all of the board members should get interviewed over the course of the next year or two. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What you bring to what you bring to the board, and what the senior center is all about. My my legacy when I leave here is to have the perception of what the senior center is changed. Right. Mm -hmm. If I could get away from the wheelchairs and the drooling. To this is an active place <laughs> yeah. and a party to have. Yeah, that. <laughs> yep. Right. Yep. If I can get that changed before I leave here, <clears throat> unless it's next week, um, <laughs> then I really want to do that. Right. That's my. That's my issue. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, anyone else? <laughs> okay, we'll go on to the uh, 10th anniversary. <clears throat> yeah. That's coming up already. Who wants that one? Well, we're doing a couple, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we're doing a couple things. We're planning a couple things for the 10 year anniversary. So September 28th, I believe it's a Thursday, is the literal 10 year anniversary. Um, I believe of the groundbreaking. Yeah. Is it the anniversary of the groundbreaking or it's the, no, the anniversary opening. of the opening? Okay. Grand opening. Okay. I'm new here, so. <laughs> um, so we have a couple of things that we want to do. We're going to put a bend on the August barbecue that we do. We're going to go ahead and make that kind of like the informal celebration of the 10 year anniversary. Um, so we're going to put the 10 year anniversary tilt on that event that we do every year. When is that? I believe it's happening. What did we say? We switched the date. So the second week in August. We switched it. You switched it again? No, 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 no. It's, August, it's Friday, August 18th. Hmm. Okay. It's what? Friday, August 18th. This is the one the all took away? Yes. It was supposed to be the week before, but we moved and it's it. It's here. here. Staff would have been gone. Yes, yes. Here. It's here. And what time? Uh, not quite sure. We have them. They're be spanning around the lunch hour. Got it. Yeah. That's it's, a it's, Sunday? It's usually Friday. Friday, 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 Oh, she did. So it's Friday, August 16th? 18th. 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 
Yeah. We haven't set the menu yet. Like we we haven't really just said we want to do this. Are you available? So we have a lot of pieces to work through mm -hmm. still. But, but it will probably be a dinner and a cash bar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, there's always the possibility of like throwing a couple of bottles of wine on the table so that you know maybe your first okay. glass of wine is free or something. But yeah. but there's definitely a, a bar. You might get the my next door neighbor owns. Um, the liquor store around the corner for provisions. Oh, provisions. Well, actually, oh, yeah. I'm good friends with the owner of provisions too. But the um, the one across from the Gazette. Oh yes, yeah. The little oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. One. Yeah. yeah, and so I was actually thinking, as far when you mentioned that wine, you might even be able to get. If you're talking about donation. it's a tax deduction for all these places, we could ask them yeah. if they'd like to donate. Yeah, and yeah. that's donation. Yeah. Discount donation. Yeah. And that event will follow yeah. a similar structure. So mm -hmm. you know, if it's if it's sponsorships, if it's donations, if yeah. it's partnerships, things like that. I mean, obviously, we'll try to make the out-of-pocket cost of the event as low as possible, right. and then we have the ticket sales on top of it. Well, talking about you need, you just confused me. You said this is a fundraiser, and you're going to make the tickets as low as possible. Yeah. No, we're so going to make the cost of the cost event as low as possible for the senior center. For us. So that oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I, under, I was. I we're keeping up upfront cost. Difference yeah. between price and okay. cost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the price of the ticket will be what it is. Um, and yes. it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not making any. You know, we're, we're it's definitely a outright high end fundraiser. Doesn't you know. that scare you a little, just a little bit, though? Yes. Okay. Why? <laughs> I mean, even, <laughs> even let's say if we, if it, if which it got part, to be which part the price of the ticket, yeah. fifty dollars. No. no. That doesn't scare you. No. You mean yeah. so for a couple to a okay. couple to go, it, it would be a hundred dollars. Which is cheap. Just wait. I want to hear the white and some. I go out to dinner every couple weeks and every week. And a hundred bucks. If I get out for a hundred bucks, I'm tickled to death. But, but it does. Oh it does. Um, <laughs> uh, it could. Ex You're and I'm not saying that yeah, so no, I'm just saying that it could be exclusionary, could be exclusionary for people who that's just not in their budget. Right. Exactly. Could it not be? But that's why we're doing two different types of songs. That's, that's why we're also doing so the bar. Everyone has a way to come celebrate. <laughs> And the barbecue right. is yes. free, I believe. So, yes. so we're, it's definitely we're not making any qualms about it being a pay-to-play, high-end fundraiser, and that's why we're kind of having the more casual, obviously less expensive open event. So yeah. Let me ask a little simple question for the two fundraisers that we have planned. The money is not going to go into the city coffers; it's going to go into Elder Vision. Elder Vision. Elder Vision. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that which is our 501c3 register. Yes, yeah. right. So people yeah. know they're writing a check to have 501c3, they may that's feel that's better that's about that's doing that. that. No, it's not the city. Yeah. 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 You can't out of that because you can't. Yeah, yeah. 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 As it is, yes. yes. We should chat a little bit about that whole thing about friends. About I didn't yeah. hear what. It'll be a friends of fundraiser. I'm sorry, what was there? Yeah. A question? Should be a friends of because the other thing is like we're there's there's some issues around the the crossover between yep. your not for profit and and a city um, board. So volunteering and, and and staff time and things like that. So you, you should. There's, we've been a kind of like um, working the arts council in regards to that. That's mm -hmm. been some issues. Mm -hmm. so, just to be aware of those kinds of things that, you know, if you're if you're taking money in and you have city employees doing real work, which we would do, you know, no. is that the money? It'd be after hours, though. Exactly. We have our volunteers taking in money. Yeah. Oh, oh, but the buddy of staff is working on it. That's the other thing, to be honest with you. But just oh, be clear. Oh, you're talking about a conflict of interest? Yeah. Is that, okay, I didn't know what at yeah. first, yeah. I didn't know if everyone yeah. knew what you were talking about. Cancel okay. it, because we don't want to give any money to the city. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, we had raised. You know what, I get yeah. a feeling this committee is going to be real small, and you're not even going to have to worry about it. Yeah. No, fine. Good. Yeah. Anyway, well, the team, the staff is definitely going to be concise. Like that. I think it's going to be tight. Yeah. Yeah. Too many hands. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I'm any cooks in the kitchen. You, yeah. Have you gotten any, has anybody given any feedback that if there's a conflict of it? No, no, that that's that's not this board. Nobody yeah. asks. They're nobody asks. Yeah, don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even, it's nothing. Don't, even oh, don't, don't uh -oh. yeah, forget it. Sorry. Bring it. Don't bring it up. It's not going to happen. That's right. Right. They won't, I'm just saying, it's not going to happen. Right. Don't worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, so, so, well. Yeah. Don't change the tree, the football ball. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Any other anything else about the tenth anniversary? No, okay. And now we have an ice cream soda. Nice way to end. So we have it's these guys again. And we don't do any work. Everything else. Ice cream social is July 12th. Um, I believe we said two. One. One to three. One to three. Ice cream social. Um, this will be very similar to years past. Everyone loves ice cream. I think it's like two dollars per person. Or it's free for seniors in Northampton, but it's two dollars for everyone else. Yeah. Um, so if they want to bring people or if you're from outside the area, if you're under the age of 16, 55, I think 16. Yeah. Um, 55 is our... July what? 12. 12. At one day. It is. Just being Mr. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess it wasn't an ice cream show. Some of the uh, nursing homes have given us ice cream one time. Here one used to always do it. So maybe you can um, see if they want. Well, so it used to be Care One. Um, our contact at Care One has recently yeah. Michelle. left. Michelle. Michelle's yeah. not. Yeah. She's no, Trish. Trish is I mean, Trish switch is, positions. Yeah. So we need a new, a new ice cream. But was donor. Care One paying for the ice cream? Is that what you were saying? No. Because if the other thing is, um, I know Judy Harrell is very uh, generous. Yeah. And donates. Okay. Could you ask her for some no moo, please? <laughs> yeah, but that would be great. To well, have I wanted a to alternative. A sugar well, and I wanted to very, some kind of sugar. Remind, remind about a sugar-free no, alternative. I didn't mean okay. to speak I over. I didn't hear any anything anyone said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to speak over. No moo and um, uh, whatever ice cream, wherever you're getting it from, or wherever you're getting desserts I from, it's important to have a sugar-free alternative for diabetics. So I want I didn't want us to forget about that. Yep. So to have fruit, for example, at where you're gonna have cakes and things, you know, to if there's a way to you know, to have and and um where the ice cream they do make sugar free ice cream. Yep. It's not as good as the one I make at home. But I've had their their sugar free ice cream. And she has Judy has Harold has a um endocrinologist who's worked with her on it, Dr. Court, oh, to good. test it and um, make sure it's appropriate. Yeah, so we'll take all of we'll, we'll make sure yeah. that that's all. Who else sells ice cream around here? Well, the thing is, so we have a relationship with um, Rockridge. The, um, so Care One was the one that was doing it before. We've had conversations with Rockridge recently and they're interested in doing something similar. They're interested in partnering, partnering with us on a, an event like that. Um, so my first ask will be Rockridge and they will most likely be willing mm -hmm. to take care of the entire cost. So their food services basically it's like they get they would order the ice cream. I don't care how they get the ice yeah, cream. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm with <laughs> you on that. My my dad says it doesn't matter um how you got the money, it's do you got it. So that's so I understand. I mean what I, you're I don't know if they'll use their own their own ice cream. I don't know if they'll go buy big tubs, I have no idea. But, but, but right. we can ensure that there's alternative options, yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is that if you're asking them, then they would have to go through their procurement. Knowledge. Procurement, and so what I'm saying is it might take an ex, you know, or like you're saying, you would request from them to please make sure yep. you get those. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if they didn't, then you could go to Judy for just Well, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying whether they do or, I, I mean, we'll make well, sure we that that's an option, money. whether it comes from them or not. Yeah. And if they can't, like you said, if they can't acquire it, then you could go, go elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But in the end, to have it available. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. My husband is diabetic, mm -hmm. and and it's 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 yeah. very difficult. Um, I will, not all the ice cream places yeah. offer sugar free. You know, mm -hmm. he's like, yeah, diabetic people want to eat dessert too, and a lot of times, like, the sugar free stuff isn't that tasty or healthy. Okay. But to well, scotch on it, it tastes better. <laughs> scotch. <laughs> so, and, 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 and you just have um, information about the brands, huh? car, carbohydrates. But many of our, our um, seniors probably, probably your yeah, heart disease would probably yeah. could be, and the town could also have yeah. diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't be able to put toppings and stuff on it. They would have oh, ice cream yeah. plain. We well, they make more the comments about the ice cream free. social, John. What? You have a little more comment? No, I just, uh, you're aware of that we have lots of tubs of ice creams in the freezer. Yeah. I mean, there's tons. Yeah, we should have look at it. As long as they're unopened and they're not past the expiration date, then we'll look at it. I don't know. But somebody's got to do something about it. Yeah. Why don't you bring it into the Yeah. Yeah. It's hot out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Let's say that this duo of Victoria and Heather is just amazing. Well, <laughs> thank you. We can so we, we are very happy. Really, to all the stuff we've been and doing and all the details yeah. and want to work well together. We yeah. do, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, moving on, uh, Linda has a couple of things she'd like to bring up that aren't on this paper here, on the other. Okay, well, um, uh, just last week um, a woman came in to um, ask to participate in um, some programming. Um, she is blind, um, but I think she's probably in her mid-30s. And um, the receptionist at the time said we only um, only um, people 55 years of age or older part um, are uh, can participate in activities here. Um, I need to address this, and I'm coming to the board now for your thoughts. Um, I did a little bit of research, not a lot of research, on policy that we have in place. Um, the only thing that actually says an age is the mission statement of um, our organization. So I think. Um, I think we need a little bit of discussion on this, and maybe we, I need to write some type mm -hmm. of policy that will, um, you know, assure that, uh, you know, a special exception of some kind. Mm -hmm. as far as or, not. or not. Or not. I mean, yeah. I, well, I, she I, could still participate, but she'd have to. I mean, but can no. anybody? No. 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 they pay? No, but no. then sometimes there's an extra charge. Oh no, no, I'm just trying to understand what the policy yeah. currently oh, is. Oh, Let's okay. establish that. Oh, yeah. well, at 55 to 60, you, you pay extra. Yeah. And out of town, you pay, you pay the out of town oh, payments on any Right. Okay. But she but so the issue now is I see it. Well, yeah, 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 even yeah. below that. That's right. And that's right. what we're talking about. What to do with that. Our mission has been this the seniors. Right. Right. Senior yeah. and wow. We've defined seniors many years ago as 55 and up. Well, maybe we can't help her, but maybe we think there's somebody that can do some little research to say something to the effect of, well, if we can't do this here, but I do have a couple of other places I'm that sure you can look into of instead of just saying no. Well, I would yeah. say. Right. I mean, my career has been working with blind people, oh. so I could throw my hazard in here. I would say that it would it would definitely open it up to all disabilities. You mm -hmm. can't just let blind people mm -hmm. come in. Right. Right. You know, there's this factor with, where you know I nobody that wants to be blind. Therefore, there's like a oh, I'm so sorry, pity factor. Let's let this blind person come in. So just know that yeah. you right. know it's not about the blind person. It's yeah. just that. Uh, we feel for blind people, so we want them well, involved, they but yeah. they do have to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. or, you know, otherwise, all disabilities oh. are going to come in. So, yeah. so we have it's to all or not. Yeah. 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 Does anyone here know of resources that? Oh, yeah. There's a million of them. Just yeah, there are. Resources. And the person was aware of the resources. Um, she lives next door. You know, she sits was, out front there probably. It, I see. Yeah, it was available. You know, and there was two things. She asked for yoga. And she asked for another org, um, program. I told her that I would talk to the board and I would ex look at our policy. Um, Linda, me. I think there's something also with the city funding and the grant funding we get where it specifies. I'm not positive, but I think that should be checked also. You're right. dealing with the Council on, Aid, on Disability here. So mm -hmm. you there might be something. Yeah. Like that. Um, I did, uh, you know, this it, it puts me somewhat of a comp quandary because yeah. I have the ADA disability yeah. hat on. But you know, we recognize anyone over 55 with any disability, right, right. and they're always welcome here. You know, so it's not a discrimination mm -hmm. on disability, but right. it is it's sort right. of a, yeah. an exclusionary. Um, uh, this is a 55 year old. Right. Well, we also get money from the state, uh, and yeah. state money comes for the uh, population in town of over 55 or over 60. Mm -hmm. We could also ask, for instance, the yoga teacher if they would have a conversation with her because maybe they couldn't. That person could invite her to where she has oh, classes yeah. elsewhere, yeah, like or whatever. Nice idea. Whatever teacher probably yeah. has classes elsewhere that she could join. It mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, right. just the convenience of being here. Well, well imagine for the blind helper out. That's what yeah. I was going to bring up. We have recreational, you know, 
know, we don't have recreation. Oh, I just kind of you suggest her where she can go. Well, I That's think what I'm doing it. <laughs> I think I, I think it, I think she's aware of the other resources. I think oh. she specifically wanted to come here because she lives next door. Yeah. Right. So right. that's you know, yeah. it's not that yeah. she's unaware of the other resources. It's yeah. just it's not that, that she doesn't have other resources. This would have been the most yeah. convenient yeah. place right. to come. Right. Yeah. And I think fortunately she's so yeah. we are not a community center or a senior center. Right. Right. So can uh, we uh, right. possibly get an idea? Yes, Jim. Could I make a motion that we maintain the order of that we keep right now the same, mm -hmm. 55, mm -hmm. yeah. 55 and above, period? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anybody want to second that motion? Second. Teresa? Mm -hmm. uh, any questions on the motion? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sorry. There, I think that, that it, there needs to be a little bit of um, extension on that because we um, probably during the, um, the time that the senior center is open, there's also different qualifiers too. Like um, in the um, at, at night, we rent to all ages. Mm -hmm. You know, so there, that's a different ball game. We're renting. The right. renting right. has not earned the So that's why I'm suggesting yeah. that when during the hours of operation, that mm -hmm. this is. Yes. And, yeah. and so, I agree. So, okay, and, 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 so yeah, no. let me, let, let's, let's figure out this a little bit longer too. So, okay, so say we have a function at night, um, uh, so then we would keep that. So it, it so the caveat would be more like, um, for those that actually rent the space, you know, there is, a, so, okay. You know what, I'd, I'd like to fool around with that policy and maybe bring it to the next meeting. Would that be okay? Like a few so. sentences that- I'll, make, I'll remove my motion and make a motion that we table this till the next meeting. Would that be okay just to yeah. make sure that's that every- The terminology is just right. There's, there's all the motion language. on the table. Yeah. The language has to be- The all language has to be more defined, again. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, table. Uh, all those in favor? Table. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. There was one other thing, um, I, I know, um, I know. It, it'll all be part of the policy, but I just want to throw it at you. Um, there's some kind of state issue that um, everyone can use this uh, the facility for bingo. Um, no age discrimination is allowed in bingo. Right. And oh. did you know that? Yes. I didn't know that. I'll have to be at least oh, but that, that's because at the office we got the bingo, but we it can't serve really liquor well. a bingo it's night because of bingo, because they have kids in there. Okay. So I'm going to see if there's an 18. Oh, you mean over 18, obviously. Yeah. No. No? I thought you had to be 18. To so gamble? Don't you have to be 18? People can come in with their kids. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. right. Here, absolutely not. Well, that's, there's. That's a big topic of discussion there. Yes, yeah. yes, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. And I'm not involved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, one more thought. So these are all things that I'm going to investigate. Or that um, one more thought is too, we're going to have um, our restaurant and the restaurant. Well, that's exactly the coffee shop. I was just going to say that there's a lot of people come in that. Yeah. Come in that yeah. So that's why it, it, we need to kind yeah. of expand yeah. right. that. Right. that, that have to the same program. But with the, the program are paying for that, they're paying money for that. Paying, I mean, we're not providing a service I, for Well, it is, but I mean, yeah. people are coming in here because it's cheap. I mean, but no, but staff is not providing a service. We're not raising the Only volunteers are working there. Well, I think you should just be aware of that. So that covers everything. No, right. I mean, you know, I'm sure that at $10 a month, people under 55 would like to come here to use the gym. So we have to look at that, that, mm -hmm. you know, the gym is, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I've, I've noticed people that come in and with other people, and I had to mention it to, to Jen that these people aren't covered, you know, I mean, and it, it's about insurance too with, with the gym, and, but, um, but I would think that it is actual programming that we're getting money, like the, the Council on Aging or the, the overseer of, of services to the elder population is actually giving money for that population here. So I would think that you can't for the program. Yeah, but yep. even for the product, I mean, 50 cents for a cup of coffee, I mean, that's a, that's that's an, really inexpensive. People could go elsewhere, but they want to come here, and but that's a benefit to the seniors. Right, but they could. I mean, who cares if they buy a coffee, but participate, that's not going to hurt anybody. Well, I don't know. If the, if the and chances are they'll buy something else, too. 
Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying, saying just that it's a good, a good deal for people and stuff right. like that. He, and then my final thing is that I did talk to the Mass Council at aging, um, and mm -hmm. because I we can't be the only senior center that no. this okay. is an issue oh, to. And, and um, David Stevens really suggested that we put something in writing. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know, really. And there's there's a you know the mission statement does say it, but this we need we need the actual policy, policy yeah. statement. Yeah. No, I okay. Is there a right to announce a, another similar event to the one you were mentioning that was it's a barbecue I just want to share it um, for seniors but it's been it's called the Valley Jewish intergenerational group I don't even think you have to be Jewish to go but um, uh, it's at Look Park on uh, June 21st mm -hmm. and at 1230 and it's a $5 fee mm -hmm. and it's, it was what you said before reminded me of it so thank you that people are encouraged to bring their kids mm -hmm. it's, it's multi-generational and um, mm -hmm. it'll be a good time and I think they're going to have um, vegetarian alternative as well do you have a flyer you can put it up here and I'll bring the flyer in Perfect. yeah it, we just made it we did just Jerry Hammond been listening <laughs> well, no, that it is how it should be. Yeah, yeah. there should always be the alternatives. Yeah. Well, not being a vegetarian, yeah. I yes, but, 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 yeah, but yeah. if ever on the committees and stuff like that, that take that into consideration. The Jewish cocktail, as we did for the employees at the recognition one, it was taken into consideration. To the yeah. Okay, folks, uh, uh, Linda has one more thing. No, I actually don't. I have to. Well, I have one thing, but it's just okay. a, yeah, okay. po a yeah. positive announcement. Um, one of my uh, friends in Tai Chi stays with the Hampshire Coral for um, Coral Society, and she, she gave us some tickets. So I went, and in the program, there's a big ad from Hampshire Coral Society, and it's like, and the staff to Northampton Senior Center, extra special thanks. So oh, there's a program nice. there. Very so small. I know, like, they, they was really popular. I wanted to show Bob. I forgot to show Bob because he was the kind of set up. Yeah, he thing. does the most work for them. Yeah, <laughs> so I wanted to make sure you had it because, I mean, it's like, it's a big deal, you know, in that They're program. Really cool. Oh, yeah, so. really. And, and this is just for everybody's, um, we are getting a, um, a, a baby grand piano donated and um, the oh. Hampshire Choral and the Valley Jazz, every, all of the um, musical groups are in this committee and we're um, figuring out when to do it. And it's so from a, one person who is um, the chairperson of uh, Northampton Neighbors who is donating this. Uh, what is so, her name again? Um, her name is with an L, doesn't really? it? Uh, exactly. It's Lee Bailey. And That's she's Lee. donating the piano. Yeah. Wow. Her father was a concert Wow. Really, wow. And so they checked it out. They had, um, and we're helping with the um, moving of the yeah. piano. Where's it going to go? In it's the big room. Big so big we're room. getting rid of a lot of pianos, guys. So yeah. we're we're we checked out the ones that we really don't we need anymore. We get that there are no value to us. So um, so we'll be getting rid of some of them. Okay. One more last thing, because I know we're really pushing it today. Um, uh, Heather is working on a, a project with the um, uh, the reception, our reception volunteers. Oh, Want to give a little bit of update on yeah, that? Yeah, I'll just give you a very brief update. Um, we've been doing a lot of training so that the laptops at the reception desk actually get used. Mary has been Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Mary's, been, Mary's an expert. So we've been doing She's been doing excellent, and that's. The Thing I appreciate is that people are being open-minded and giving this a try and trying to modernize things around here. So we've been doing my senior center training, training on Google calendars. Oh, I We're going to be getting rid of that big white board that takes up all that space on the counter. And just oh. It's happening, so start scanning in. All of the information or else you don't you exist. Need is so readily available, and now we're going to make them access it. Um, I will say that I use that Google Calendar probably daily. The one we, the one we shared somebody, If somebody says, what's happening at the Senior Center, boom, and I can say, we got this, 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 and this today. So I've shared it with Jim, Deborah, That's and Deborah, and I just shared it with Kathy today. So if anyone else wants access, you're welcome. But what do you want to have? You know, I still have a flip phone. Well, you can go on your regular computer and yeah, look. Yeah, you can view it on your computer. You can see what's going on in the building. You can see rentals. You can see everything that's going on. So um, we're working.
working well, towards starting to use yeah. some sort yeah. of a yeah. computer system to take yeah. payments in the fall <laughs> too. So. But we still scan in. That's not okay. going to change. Yeah, that that's, will not change. No, yeah. nope, that's definitely. But the big, oh, white, the big white board's going? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and the other thing is spread the, spread the word. So what I think what people are missing a lot is that when you scan your card, and you choose whichever you know activity you're joining. Yeah. It does say the room right there um, oh. because we get a lot of questions like they'll scan in and then where come to the is? desk and ask what room it is. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we're trying to get people in the habit of not looking at that whiteboard for the room yeah. assignments, but kind of paying attention when they scan in. Yeah. Can I have a question? Yeah. I have a question. Um, Very quick. What can you know? We we have that really nice board, the, the TV. The TV. Yeah, yeah. we talked about, that. Talked about yeah. that. Yeah. So I mean, we were thinking we put the Google Calendar up on there. Anyone yes. in the building could see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So oh, so great. instead, we'll have a yeah. more yeah. sophisticated okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 whiteboard. Yes. Yeah. 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 It'll, It'll be the whiteboard, but it'll, it'll be a black TV with okay. screen. I can adjust to that. Yeah. Okay. We got one more thing to discuss, and several of us have another meeting to go to in about three minutes. <laughs> it's getting tight. The summer meeting schedule. Now, yeah. traditionally, we have not met in August, and that's the only only time we're taking off. Is that acceptable to everybody? Or? Sure. Yep. Sure. Hmm. Uh, um, I actually have. I'm I'm um, on holiday for the second Tuesday um, in July. Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. It's Thursday. Yeah. yeah, that's the other hmm. one. So, yeah, I'm, I'll be gone. Well, do do we need July, or what about what about taking July and August off? We used to do both months. I make the motion to take July and August off. Yeah, I do too. I know Highland Valley does. We used, yeah. to, we used to do July and August. I'll second it. Yeah. When I started. I'll second that. I second the motion. Okay. All in favor? <laughs> uh, any discussion on that? Uh, anybody got a question on it? We're talking about. Not meeting in July or August. Well, we just we just tabled something, something for July. Right. Yeah, we tabled something. And the budget. Well, I can, you know what? I, if for, for this case, um, I could easily um, send everyone um, this uh, copy of right it, either by email or or our yeah. sale mail, um, with and just asking yeah. for your thing. Mm -hmm. We yeah. could do a vote, um, an external vote. Yeah, we can do an external vote. Yeah, phone vote or, mm -hmm. or written ballot, and if you. Would. I'll add this. I'd like to I'll add that to the motion. Then we missed you, July and August, and we do a offsite vote for policy. the policy. State policy. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, I'd like to get that as soon as possible. Okay. I want to deal with yeah. it. Did you right. send your letter. What did you say you could do it by mail, or they'll call you. Okay. 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 Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Yeah. Right. Right. What are we voting? We're voting on not having, not having a meeting in July and August. But possibly in July. You really have to go. You're going to take your sneakers? I'll be back. I'm going to bring everything. Okay. All right, got it. Anybody opposing? The motion is passed. So I will, we will see you again in September. Motion to adjourn. Second. Anybody in favor of that one? Anybody opposed wants to stay? Nobody wants to stay. Nobody wants to stay. Meeting is adjourned. I'll see you in the.